Welcome back in our hot sauce today. We are talking art. Right, now, Buffalo is full of beautiful architecture and old buildings, and there's a new innovative project gearing up this summer to enhance the look and feel of our city even further. We're here with Jim Montour, Alex Cornwell, and Elaine O'Toole of Community Canvases to talk about a unique project that they are working on in Buffalo. So before we get into some things that we can see right now of the project, let's talk about Community Canvases. Well, what is the idea behind this project? Well, Community Canvases started with uh, Alex and I. We work for the Common Council, and Council Member Joe Golumbek wanted us to do some research on methods to get rid of graffiti. And in our research, we learned that a lot of cities use public art as a means to permanently get rid of areas with graffiti, while at the same time beautifying the neighborhoods. So it just kind of started off as this, like, replacing graffiti with murals thing and it just kind of exploded into this massive public art community development movement. So let's talk about some of those murals. I know that some of them we can see right now. Uh, so where, where are examples of what community uh, canvases is all about? Where can we see these examples? Well, um, actually right now we're doing, besides the murals, um, we're doing um, window uh, putting artists work in windows. We've um, done a storefront on Elmwood, the Elmwood Village, uh, the Elmwood Village Association. Um, there's one on Amherst Street in uh, Black Rock District. So um, we're and going we're forward with that. We're, we're putting together a PVC framework, putting on a pegboard, putting it in vacant storefronts. And this is like a, a facade that artists can put their original artwork on. So passerbys, instead of seeing a vacant storefront, can see original artwork from artists in the neighborhood. Now, I can imagine with uh, art of such magnitude, it's going to take a lot of hands. Now, right now, you have sort of a, a bat call, if you will, to Buffalo artists to help you beautify Buffalo. How, mm -hmm. how can people out there that might be artists that have that portfolio, how can they get involved in your project? We're doing right now, we're sort of trying to do a little blitz of Tonawanda Street in Riverside. Uh, and this is solely funded by council member Joe Golumbek, and what this is, is we're going to be doing 10 utility boxes, have 10 different artists paint 10 different boxes with themes that sort of celebrate the history of the area and also welcome the new generations to the community because it is an ever-changing face. So, so if someone wants to get a, you know, their hands on one of these utility boxes, how do they go through you? How, how does that logistically work? So we're asking the artists, we'll submit a... Uh, we're asking for a request for qualifications, and we want artists to submit their portfolio. They can do it online at www.communitycanvases, C-A-N-V-A-S-E-S.org, or you can find more information through our Facebook. We have a Twitter page. So I, I can imagine that this is sort of it's going to work towards a more beautiful Buffalo. There's a greater picture involved. So the end result of all of your work, what, what would you ideally want that to be? We'd want each and every neighborhood, you know, as you know, the thing about Buffalo is every neighborhood is very diverse culturally, historically. We want public art that properly reflects the individuality of each neighborhood in Buffalo. We're starting with just one street this year, Tonawanda Street. Next year we want to do maybe three more streets and we want the community to be involved. We want the artists to come together. We want, you know, everyone to have a say in and be something have something they can be proud of at the end of the day all right well thank you guys so much for joining us and i think thank something you. we can all relate to is the goal of a more beautiful better buffalo so thank you for what you're doing and of course we'll put all that information so you can find what canvas uh, community canvas is up to right on our website now we're going to head over to our web producer emily lenahan what's going on